Fabric art includes wearable art, quilts, wall hangings, and dramatic play props that you'll want to last a long time and stay colorful through many washings. That's where our BioColor fabric medium comes into play. Here you see the AP safety seal that tells us it's certified non-toxic. That's right, Gretchen. Fabric painting with any other medium requires the use of at least one toxic element. And many other water-based paints don't permanently stay on fabric, so that's another great attribute of BioColor. Let's get started. You're going to mix one part fabric medium to four parts BioColor. I would do it in a small plastic bottle like this Nancy bottle, available from Discount School Supply. These are made of soft plastic that are so easy to use. They're perfect for a young child's grip. And they're ideal for this kind of project. You might want to label this set of BioColor with a label or masking tape saying Fabric BioColor. What if we don't have Nancy bottles? Not a problem. You can mix it in a bowl or any container. In fact, if I'm going to do a lot of BioColor fabric art, I'll pre-mix it in a 16-ounce BioColor paint bottle. I'll show you how. You always want to use the 1 to 4 ratio. So I've taken about a quarter of this paint out for future use. Then you'll fill it in with BioColor fabric medium, not all the way to the top. You'll want to make sure to leave yourself a little shaking room. Shake well to blend. Then you've got the perfect ratio in this larger bottle for your larger fabric art projects. And you can use this large bottle to fill smaller bottles like these with brushes in their top. These are great for smaller details like fabric stamp painting and on quilt squares. Now we'll get creative and show you some techniques. First, we'll insert this piece of cardboard underneath this t-shirt. This makes the surface firm for painting and it avoids bleed through. You can also use wax paper or aluminum foil, but cardboard is the perfect medium to avoid bleed through and keep it flat for storing later. I'll start our design by using a Nancy bottle. BioColor is so creamy got a really nice consistency, but it's not runny, so children will feel successful when they're using it. And now I'll use one of these bottles. It squeezes out of this brush bottle so nicely. Again, that creamy consistency works so well in so many different kinds of bottles. Now I'll add a little more with the Nancy bottle. So now we've shown you fabric design using brush painting and Nancy bottles. Let's add some stamping. I'll paint my stamper with the little brush bottle. And then I'm going to press it onto the fabric to add a little more fun. Now let's use these fabric quilt squares that you would find at Discount School Supply website or our catalog. This blotter art technique is very similar to what you would do on paper. Using your Nancy bottles, squeeze on dime-sized amounts of paint. Then fold the quilt square over and move the paint around using your fingers. When you open this quilt square, look at that bright design. So nice. I've used fluorescent colors, so they're really bright. We did the same technique on this cute fabric backpack. It looks like a butterfly. And don't forget about fabric scraper art. Take a look at this quilt. Isn't it great? You can see that some students have used the scraper art technique to create rainbows and other effects. Each child in a class could create their own unique square, and when you put it together, you've got an adorable quilt. And here are some more wonderful examples of things you can make when you easily turn BioColor paint into fabric paint.